Welcome back to Kelsey Talks, and today we're doing a try video. So we got Diabolo uh, Sparkling French Lemonade. Um, if I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry, but I'm reading it as good as I can. The, uh... Just pug her up French kissing bubbles inside. Yeah. <laughs> Say bonjour to lemonade sexy French cousin. Oh wait, they all say something different. Oh, this should be interesting. Alright, so uh in this looks like we have 50 calories, no fat, cholesterol, sodium, carbohydrates, uh we have 15, we have 10 grams of sugar. Included 10 grams added sugar, 20% protein, none. Uh, a bunch of healthy stuff like niacin, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and pen, pentothenic acid. So, yeah, this should be uh, interesting. Yep. So, we're going to so try. try the blueberry citron first, right? Yeah. Yep. Cilantro. Cilantro. Mm. That one's not bad. What's that flavor? It's like a bit of... Oh. Uh, is that mint? Is that mint in it? I don't know, but the green one's mint. It's like cilantro or mint or something. I don't know what that... Do you know those, what that is? Those, those look like mint leaves. I should know. I yeah. worked with them for two months straight. That's why I'm like, I think those are mint leaves. I think this might have a bit of mint in it. Okay. But then again, they look a little straight edged to be mint. Maybe. Anyways. I think it's like bay. Actually, that might be bay leaves. Anyways, point is, next one, we have these bubbles have a sexy French ass accent. What did you say? That's mine too. Oh, the same. It's a different. Dang it. So we have tangerine pomegranate. Next. It's say bonjour to new exciting flavors. Slancha. Ooh. That one's actually really good. Yeah. Flavor caught me off guard a bit. Most definitely. Because it just changed. So yeah. it just threw me off. I'm like... It's like, is it tangerine? Is it pomegranate? Ooh. Who knows? That's interesting. So, okay. So that's a bit of tangerine. Pomegranate. Whoa, there's the tangerine. Yep. It's like, woo. French lemonade with all right. curves in all the right places. Start Mine your romance says, with start your romance French. with exotic French flavors. I love these. So next we're trying mint citron. Slancha. Oh, I can sense all the mint. Oh, God. That one tastes better than the first yeah. one. Yeah. This one's definitely... So, yeah, this one might be bay leaves or something. Yeah. It's like bay leaves or... I don't know, cilantro. I don't know what the heck that taste is in that first one. It just tastes really... Ooh la la, exotic yeah. French flavors inside. Yeah, that's what I got too. Bursting with sparkling French personality, just like... Pour vous. Just pour vous. Just pour vous. This one is dragon fruit plum. This one's probably going to be my favorite. Because I absolutely love dragon fruit. Slancha. Yep, that one's my favorite. I absolutely love dragon fruit. That one's pretty good. Although plums pretty good. Not overly fond of plums, but I'll eat them. Yeah. But this one, um, I definitely taste a bit more of the plum than I do the dragon fruit. But you can still taste the dragon fruit. Yeah. And now this for the rankings. My favorite. All right. Well, I already stated this one's my favorite. Uh, so blue. Sorry, you're dead last. Uh, this one's gonna be hard.
then orange, then green. And then obviously the dragon fruit poem. I don't know what it is about the mint citron, but it's actually really good. Yep. Like, I didn't expect that because I, I do, I like mint here and there, but I'm not overly fond of mint flavored drinks. Yep. But this mint citron actually did put it over the top. So I'm actually very impressed by that. But still not enough to be dragon fruit. Yeah. So, and it's Josh's my last drinking. place is also blue. Sorry, blue. You've been out. I think, honestly, I gotta go with orange next. Really? Yeah. Then the dragon fruit. And surprisingly, this was the one I was expecting originally to be in last, is actually in first. The mint oh. citron. Oh my gosh. So once again, we have a situation where your first and second are swapped yeah. for mine. Okay. Well, I mean, our tastes are similar when it comes to drinks. I know. It's, it's still funny that this is like the second time in a row in a row <laughs> that we've tried something on camera and your fourth and last play, your fourth and third were the same as mine, but your first was my second and your second was my first. Mm. And out of context, that sounds really weird. <laughs> but um, anyways, uh, no. So um, Diabolo Sparkling French Lemonade. Um, again, if I'm saying that wrong, I don't know. Say something in the comments because... I think I'm saying that right. I don't know very much French. I will say that. I know a little bit. But uh, anyways. No, this is actually uh, pretty good. Where was this? Oh, it was bottled in LA. Uh, of course. By Diabolo Beverage Company, LLC. Well, that's just predictable, though. Yeah. Um, and as but, far as the comment freaking correcting you i'm sure i know who it will come from <laughs> yep uh actually so wait is this the same company that did i think wow okay uh that's a blast from our teenage years yep um Anyways, so if you're more interested in seeing uh, this company's products, um, I know we're probably going to do this right after the video too. Uh, there's uh, the website here is on the can. It's www.drinkdiabolo.com. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm probably we're probably going to look up the stuff right after the shoot i'm just looking at this i can't believe this yeah. Nat and naturally flavored yep and it's actually really really good yeah and Anyways. it comes from la <laughs> i'm kidding i know i'm joking <laughs> i'm making an la joke there yeah. no something natural from la oh, no <laughs> anyways anyways no Cheers, mates. so uh I guess that's it for this episode of Celtic Talks. We will see you next time. Till then, slancha. Yeah.